There's a kosher meat factory in Argentina, comprised of several buildings. The entire complex is surrounded by a tall chain link fence, and everyone enters through an iron gate in the front. The owner, Kamen Rokeach, is a very hard worker. He's the first one in every morning, and the last one out every evening. Domingo, the guard at the front gate, knows that when Kamen leaves in the evening, he can lock the gate and go home. One evening in November 2007, Kamen was leaving. Good night, Domingo, he called out to the guard. You can lock up now. No, Domingo said. Not everyone has left. What are you talking about, Kamen asked. Everyone went home two hours ago. Not true, Domingo replied. Rabbi Berkowitz is still inside. Maybe you just didn't see him leave, Kalman said. Believe me, I am positive he is still inside, Domingo insisted. We better go look for him. Kalman knew that Domingo was reliable and took his word seriously. He jumped out of his car and they both rushed back to the compound. He searched the large main factory room, but Rabbi Berkowitz wasn't there. They ran into the office building, but he wasn't there either. They searched the truck dock and the packing house, going from room to room. Finally, they came to the huge walk-in refrigeration room where the meat was stored and kept frozen. They opened the door, and to their shock and horror, they saw Rabbi Berkowitz on the floor, coughing and shivering, trying desperately to breathe. He had been locked inside. They ran over to him, lifted him off the floor, and helped him out of the refrigerated room, past the thick, heavy door that had been locked behind him. They wrapped blankets around him and made sure he was warm and comfortable. Kalman Rokeach was shocked. Domingo, he asked, how did you know that Rabbi Berkowitz was still inside? There are over 300 workers here every day. Domingo said, every morning when that rabbi comes in, he greets me and says hello. He asks how my morning is going and wishes me a wonderful day. He shows me respect and makes me feel important. And every single night when he leaves, he says, thank you so much. Have a pleasant evening. He never misses a night and I wait for his kind words. Hundreds of workers pass me every day, morning and night, and they don't say a word to me. They show me no respect or recognition. Rabbi Berkowitz does. I knew he came in this morning and I was sure he hadn't left yet because I was waiting for his friendly goodbye for the evening. One of the most important things we can give a person is honor and respect. When you show a person that you care about their well-being, you infuse them with life. Rabbi Berkowitz appreciated the value of every person, and because he validated life, he merited life. Rabbi Berkowitz's life was saved because of his genuine care and concern for another human being. Every human being is made in the image of God and has infinite value. Chaviv Adam Shenivra B'Tselem. How precious and dear is every person, the Mishnah tells us, because he is created in God's image. The greatest gift we can give others doesn't cost us a penny, it's the gift of love and recognition, showing others we respect and value them.